I'm going to show you how to increase the capacity of your battery backup. I have the CyberPower 1500 AVR and my original batteries died and instead of replacing them with the same 9 amp hour capacity batteries, which would only give me 5 to 15 minutes of run time, I decided to increase the capacity. All you need is a Phillips head screwdriver. You take one screw out and the cover comes off. You can pull out the two original batteries. These are 12 volts together. It's 24 volts. They're connected with these connectors. You just unplug them. And then I drilled a hole in the cover so that I can pull the connectors through to connect to the external batteries, which I purchased for this purpose. I purchased 35 amp hour batteries instead of the nine amp hours. This is the Anderson SB50 connector. This is what you want to use to connect the batteries to the battery backup. You can look online uh, where to find it and how to hook that up. I reused the existing connectors, pulled it through, and connected it to the Anderson SB50. These are the original batteries pulled out, and I'm just showing you the hole in the front and the SB50 Anderson connector coming out. This is uh, the original battery on the right and the bigger 35 amp hour battery on the left. I decided to use a fuse just in case there was a short circuit. This is a 20 amp fuse, uh, which I hooked up to one quarter inch ring terminals for this purpose. All right, All right so I'm just putting touches on this. Um, these are the two uh, 35 amp hour batteries, Mighty Max. Uh, this is in series, so the combined voltage will be um, 24 volts approximately. And uh, you see, I put a fuse in between over here and uh, we've got the red going to the positive, negative, positive, and then this is the negative. So that's the last piece. So I'm gonna hook that up. And uh, then we're gonna turn this thing on for the first time, hopefully. It goes well. Uh, this will be for the Cyber Power AVR uh, 1500. Okay, so that's nice and tight. Uh, so uh, you can see what's going on here. Uh, <coughs> these batteries are coming together. Um, this uh, Anderson connector here, and then. Here's the cyber power, we'll connect that together. And we can just double check that, uh, check the voltage before we hook it up. So, set the multimeter up. Red positive, black negative. And uh, we should be getting <laughs> a value here. And you can see that's uh, 26. Point one, so that's good. Those are two good batteries. So right now you can see the cyber power is not plugged in, uh, but let's test it out first time. See what happens. Hopefully, uh, didn't screw anything up. Nothing blows up. Okay, so far nothing. Uh, turn the power on. Okay, power's up. That's a good sign, and it looks like it's outputting 120 volts. It seems happy with the battery capacity. It says it's full, 60 hertz, zero output, 100% battery capacity. Uh, so I think this is uh, I think this is gonna work uh, very nicely. Zero input because it's not plugged in. So um, I'll, I'll do some more testing and uh, I'll let you know.